Hey guys and welcome back. I'm redoing the AI Matics tutorial video as since its creation, the plugin was updated a lot. And if you check its change log, you will see that it got many, many updates and the updates are still continuing to flow and come in. So because of this, I am redoing the tutorial video as the initial video was only for the AI content creators part. And since then the plugin got a single AI post creator content editor, chatbot, short codes and forms, embeddings, model training, playgrounds, and limits and statistics. So depending on which part of the plugin you wish to use, you can check <clears throat> this quick tutorial video where I don't want to put any, uh, I don't want to emphasize on any of these parts, just provide an insight of how you can use this plugin at the moment and also I want to tell you that keep in mind the plugin is constantly updated and new features are getting pushed into it almost day by day so you might see more features appearing when you are checking the plugin and comparing it to this tutorial video so you might see some additional features in the plugin but they might uh, <coughs> have already um, documented in a tutorial video in a separate tutorial video so look for a tutorial video for that feature if you don't find it here so first of all after we install the plugin we need to go in the main settings and this is the welcome screen you can read this part it is uh, useful also afterwards you can activate the plugin using your purchase code from Enveto then you need to go to the api keys tab here from the main settings where you will be required to enter one of two api keys currently two in the future maybe more so you can enter your open ai api key you can get it from here you also can enter your aimatic api api key you can get it from here this both will work or you can get your microsoft azure api key and enter it here you can get your api key if you click here and you can also follow this detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get your azure api key afterwards you can enter your azure endpoint open ai endpoint you can get it by getting this link and also this tutorial will get, give details on how to use this. So I'm not entering in details about this as I am creating this tutorial only to show you guys how to use the plugin in hindsight. Also, you can enter your stability.ai API key, <clears throat> which will provide additional images, stable diffusion images, because if you are using the default images ai generated images the plugin will generate dolly 2 images from openai but you can also switch to stability.ai to create stable diffusion images also pinecone api is used for embeddings if you want to use embeddings you have to add an api key here also also the chatbot benefits of text to speech and text to video at the moment so text to video is DID and text to speech is 11 labs or Google API keys entered here or if needed also SERP API is used for related headings and AI internet access part so if you want to enable internet access for your chatbot you need to enter a SERP API or a value SERP API key here YouTube API key is used for related videos which are added to the post. You can enter your YouTube API key here. Google Translator, similar if you want to translate content using Google or DeepL APIs keys and uh, Microsoft Translator and Microsoft Translator region code. So these are the API keys, but the needed ones are only the from the top here so the microsoft azure or open ai api keys depending on which service you want to use here are some stability.ai settings ai images and so on so i don't want to get into details because of this i am going directly to single ai post creator 
So the single AI post creator is useful because it will create posts for you guys based on a topic, for example. So let's enter WordPress plugins and we can click generate title and the plugin will get up us with a title or we can click generate all to generate everything. So for example, we can click generate all and the plugin will get a title sections for our uh, for our post and afterwards it will go in and process the content and it will create a content based on the number of sections and number of par paragraphs per section we select from here and it will create also an excerpt and afterwards when we are done and also configuring here on the side any other info that we need we can click create post and the post was created and published. So we can go ahead and edit the post that we created. And here it is. We can exit code editor to better see it. Okay, so now also we can set the featured image. The plugin will benefit of AI generated images tab here in the media library opening. So we can generate AI generated images by these values also and there will be many more features as the plugin also has a AI assistant here so if you select a text in the single post editor you will have an AI assistant feature which will allow you to do operations on the selected text and uh, if you set for example write a paragraph on this the plugin will write a paragraph based on your selection so as you can see a new paragraph appeared okay so we can save this and go back to where we were in the single ai post creator so we have more options here also we can change content parameters what language we wish to use writing style writing tone so you can enter languages by typing the language name you can see spanish or simply by deleting the language and hitting this little arrow to see all the languages which are supported by the plugin so this is a way to create different language content in AIomatic. also you can select the model settings these are advanced settings you can select which model to use to write and maximum tokens and temperature you can set also the prompts which will be used for title section content and excerpt but you can leave this unchanged if you don't want to edit them also we can go now to bulk ai post creator this is another feature of the plugin which will create posts in bulk for you so you might be here for this feature of the plugin if it's yes you can click on this to check the tutorial video for this feature as I will be not diving into details in this feature. Also for the single AI post creator, you can see the tutorial video here on top and you can dismiss it if you wish, but the tutorial video will be hinted there. Okay, so let me create a quick post so for example let's go with title based posting as i showed you already topic based posting so let's write here wordpress plugins in 2024 what the future will bring so this is an example title if you want to switch to topic based posting then you can set a topic also here in the plugin settings and the plugin will post in based on that topic but now i am using title based posting and i can also set featured images for example categories tags image generator we can use royalty free images open ai or stability.ai images and if you want to set images check this checkbox and you will have multiple options here but be sure to check this tutorial if you want details about this because right now i am just showing a quick run of this feature to just show you what the plugin can achieve 
and for details I recommend that you check this tutorial video. So the plugin is processing now our content and it should be posted when the green check mark appeared and here it is. Okay, so this is just a quick feature and let me show you also the topic based posting. Let's switch to topic and you will see that things changed here and if we enter a uh, auto generate post title based on topics here we can enter a topic and the plugin will generate based on that topic a new article so while this is generating we can go also to the ai content editor and here we have also a tutorial so for details i recommend that you check this tutorial in this part of the video i will be showing you only what this part can do so the ai content editor will be able to automatically edit the post that you publish or you already have on your site so the already uh, if you want to edit posts which are published you need to use this enable post automatic editing switch set it to on and configure what part of your site you wish to edit and when so when the posts are published drafted pending after which delay and which posts pages or custom post types to be edited and also which categories to be accepted and so on and here you will see a part of the plugin which will be able to edit existing posts so you can also use crons to edit existing posts in smaller batches so you can use this feature using this maximum number of posts to process you can set how many posts to process in a single run and here you can set filters on which post you wish to process you can run editing here and very important before running check the editing templates and options because here you will be able to set up how you how exactly you want to edit posts for existing posts and newly published posts so before setting these two up i recommend that you check the templates and configure it as this will set up how you will be able to edit the post that you are publishing on your site or you have already published on your site so you can append and you can rewrite published content using this uh, instructions so you can translate to hungarian for example the this will be affecting the title this will be affecting the content and this will be affecting the excerpt and many many four features will be available here check the tutorial for details also you can add automatically a featured image royalty free open ai or stability.ai also you can add <coughs> content to the beginning to the end or um, you can disable this feature and automatically add links to posts you can set your own links or use internal links from your site from posts which are already published on your site automatic post commenting you can automatically publish comments on your site by based on what uh, where you want to publish the posts so you can publish comments on newly published posts or send comments to already existing posts both will work you can set a meta description for posts based on this prompt this will be integrated with yo ceo all-in-one ceo on rank math plugins if you have a ceo plugin this will work with it and also you can change post status after editing to whatever status you wish and here in the advanced settings you will have some advanced features that you can check and we can check the post also which is published so what was the typing i think this or if not then this yeah i think yeah this is the one so you will see that this post is more complex it has these headings it has an intro so if you want to get more complex posts based on the bulk ai post creator i recommend you use the topic based post creator and you will see more complex posts popping up so let's delete this post now 
and we can go to the chatbot and I will be showing you the tutorial for the chatbot and we have here a context that we can set we can tell the chatbot that hey you are a AI assistant for example and so on you can set a username AI name and you can set the first message to the chatbot and you will have many many options and customizations here check the tutorial for details as I don't want to make this video even longer than it is so let's disable this feature as it is enabled right now and let me show you an example response from the chatbot so we told him hello hello there how can I assist you today so we can continue talking with our chatbot here also the plugin will have many built-in short codes listed here and you can create your own list of forms and short codes you can import the default list of shortcodes and for an example default a shortcode is this twitter thread generator topic love and click submit and the plugin will generate a twitter thread based on the topic that we entered here as you can see so also you can edit your prompts and create similar custom forms using this part of the plugin so check the tutorial for details if you want to use embeddings to add custom data to the chatbot or to the ai writer you can do it with embeddings tutorial here also you can train your custom models but the azure model is not supported so the azure api is not supported this is available only in open ai API so if you want to switch to OpenAI go to main settings go API keys and switch to OpenAI here afterwards you can test more functionalities of the plugin using the AI playground here you will see a tutorial and many similar playground functionalities where you can test the plugins features and also you can check usage logs here usage graphs usage limits can be set here based on many features so it is integrated with Ultima membership pro and many more features will be available here to limit the usage of the plugins for your users or even for yourself and you can limit the text-to-speech usage and you can check open ai status in the activity and logging section you can see logs and maintenance and system info be sure to have everything on green here so yeah this will be the tutorial for AIMatic. i hope it is useful and if you have ideas suggestions let me know in the comments until next time bye bye